What's up YouTube? Today I'm working on 2011 Audi A8. In this episode I want to show you how to replace your cup holder in uh, uh, 2013 Audi A8. This is common issue that goes bad all the time. Uh, let me show you condition of mine. So usually this arm is broken and you cannot close or open this thing and it's not really easy to replace that so I already figured out how to do that and I just wanted to show you so the first what you need to do is you lift up your armrest right here and you have this cover uh, actually not so when you lift up your armrest here's the two kind of buttons that you just push them in and it's letting you to slide your uh, armrest to the back and then you take some uh, screwdriver or plastic uh, plastic removal tool and you move this cover right here it's right under those handles you move that Here's the one screw and there is gonna be four more on this side. So they goes right here, one here, one on another side, two more on the back and to move that, there's four on the top, you move this, disconnect the wires and then you can lift up this whole thing but your shifter is on the way so to remove the shifter it's really easy this cover on top and you just grab it take it out there is connector uh, connector right here be careful and one screw one screw on top it's I think it is T40 or T45 remove that screw and it is should come out just like that and then you can lift up the this dash let me go forward and see what else I need to do and you can follow the steps and do the same so the problem is it's one screw right here and it's tight from the bottom so you need to move this whole thing to replace that I got the another cup holder it's used but it's exactly the same so two screws holding it here and two on the sides, but that's it. But we need to move this whole thing somehow. So something else is holding on the front. I think there's two more screws. You better get a tool like that if you don't want to scratch your beautiful console. I think it should be another screw right here. I'm not sure I'm doing this first time. Got something holding in there. So you move this control screw. Okay, you move that. 
room. Let's see what else is home. Alright guys, you don't have to move this because the screws under this panel, the AC and heat control buttons. So you move this panel it won't move completely for some reason. There is enough space for us to move that. And now there's two screws on the sides, one right here, one on another side. We're just gonna move that and lift up this, this thing and replace our cup holder and put everything back. Sorry guys, maybe I'm not really careful with stuff. But I'm uh, just trying to do quick and I'm used to moving those panels. So on that one it should be T25 or T30. Disconnect and the second screw, and now I can move this out. So there's another connector for the back vent. Vents, you need to disconnect that right there. And Access to the cup holder. There's one screw, and there should be a couple more. But let's disconnect this and see a little bit closer. Okay. There's another one and one more right here. All right. The cup holder is out. We just need to disconnect those connectors. And put everything back.
two clips right here. Some cover around it. Just gonna that. There you go. So I tried to find what was the issue. And there. Uh, and see if it's even fixable. So it goes like that. So what I can see on mine, it should be another piece of plastic right here that holding this arm from the from the moving but it is broken maybe you can fix that but I just got the new part for cheap and I just gonna install this new one it's working perfect and We'll be good to go. Then got the same cover. Everything back, connectors up. Slide this back in. Back connector to the wind.
So when you put it back, you better you better move the vent out because it's not letting you sit this back. Now it's in place and you can put the back around. Make sure your connector in place. Make sure your connector in place. And you just slide that back in. Time to put the screws back.
All right, Steve.
Alright guys, now it's working like it should. Thank you guys for watching, I hope that was helpful. I was trying to do fast, not really careful, but my uh, goal was to show you how to replace that because I realized it's not easy. So uh, if it helps someone, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode.